Okay, so here we have a kind of tricky SAT question. Um, tricky in that it's just a little silly and you might originally look at this problem and think, how would I ever do this? But the answer is actually way simpler than you probably would make it out to be. So here we have the graph of a circle. Um, we have x plus 4 squared plus y minus 19 squared equals 121. So right off the bat, it's important to make sure we just remember what these components of a circle are. Um, obviously, the opposite of these two numbers in parentheses will give us the center of the circle. So in this case, the center of our circle is negative 4, 19. And then this number over here is our radius squared. So our radius is the square root of 121, which is 11. So we want to find a possible value for a that lies on the circle. So a point that lies on the circle is a point that satisfies this equation, right? So for example, if we plug in like, you know, a and b into these equations for x and y respectively, we should get the appropriate 121. So you may think that it might be a little difficult to uh, actually find points that go on the circle, and it kind of is. Um, even integer points, it would require using the radius in the center point and drawing a bunch of triangles. But what's actually way easier is looking at our answer choices. You can see we have some pretty big numbers here. And something that's nice on the SAT is when you have a multiple choice, you can start eliminating answers that are potentially wrong. So in this case, x plus 4 pl squared plus y minus 16 squared. These are pretty big numbers, right, when we're squaring. And we want it to equal 121. So something we can look at is... Well, hey, if we want to plug in values and make sure they work, they have to at least they have to always be less than 121, because when we're adding uh, numbers that we're squaring, those numbers are always going to be positive. So if either of these come out to be something that's bigger than 121, then we have a problem because there's no way for us to get a smaller number by adding another positive. So if we look at our examples, negative 16 plus 4 gives us negative 12 squared gives us 144. So that one's out. Negative 14 plus 4 gives us 10 squared, which is 100. That is less than 121, so that's okay. 11 plus 4 is 15 squared is 225. That's way too big. And then 19 plus 4 is 23 squared is 400 something or another. So we take that one out as well because that's also way too big. So then we're left with our only answer choice being B.